Volkerism in communist Romania during the 1970s is a fascinating, albeit a complex chapter in the country's history. The government of Romania, under the leadership of Nicolae Ceausescu, sought to use tourism as a means to bring foreign currency into the country and promote a more positive image of Romania internationally. During the 1970s, Romania was one of the most closed and repressive societies in the communist bloc. However, the government understood the economic and political potential of tourism and began to make efforts to attract foreign visitors. One of the main strategies was the construction of large-scale tourist facilities, such as the Neptune Resort on the Black Sea coast, which was designed to accommodate thousands of tourists. The Romanian government also made efforts to promote the country's rich cultural heritage and natural landscapes. The Transylvanian region, with its medieval towns, castles, and churches, was particularly promoted. The Danube Delta, one of Europe's largest and best preserved deltas, was another major attraction. Despite these efforts, tourism in Romania during this period faced several significant challenges. The lack of a developed infrastructure, poor quality of services, and restrictions on freedom of movement for foreign tourists were notable obstacles. The government's heavy-handed approach to urban and rural development, which often involved the destruction of historic buildings and the forced relocation of residents, also had a detrimental impact on the country's image. While the government was able to attract a certain number of tourists, especially from other communist countries. Tourism in Romania during the 1970s did not achieve the levels seen in some Western European countries or even in neighboring Yugoslavia. The legacy of this period is mixed. On one hand, the infrastructure and facilities developed for tourism provided a foundation for the growth of the sector after the fall of communism. On the other hand, the negative aspects of tourism under the Ceausescu regime, including its impact on local communities and the environment, are still felt today.